Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. I'm sorry it's been, I think like two weeks. I've been super busy with work and I've been on a really crazy workout schedule. You know, I'm just making excuses. But, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, um, I just figured I'd do a kind of sit down, like, relaxed video of me just trying out some products um, that I haven't shown on camera and some products that I haven't even tried out myself. A lot of them I have tried out but only a couple times so I just kind of want to show you on camera um, how they look and how and tell you kind of how I like it and stuff. So let's just get started. Alright so first I'm going to start out with primer and the primer I'm going to use is my um, Hangover RX. This is just going to moisturize my face just a tad bit. Um, I have already moisturized my face but this just adds more moisture and a little bit of radiance. So I'm just going to apply that. And then the next step I'm going to do is apply the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Balm. Wait, Post Shave Balm. I don't even know what this is called. This is like the big hype on YouTube right now. And I decided to pick it up. This huge bottle. It was like $6.00. And I really, really like it. So you literally take like that much, like not even a penny size. And you just rub it in your face until it gets tacky. If you just keep it wet on your face, it's not going to do its job. So just wait till it's tacky. It might take a little bit, but just keep rubbing. Alright, so the foundation I'm going to use today is the LC Micro Silk Foundation. And I recently bought this online and I think I've used it once. So this is my second time using it. And this is my first time using it um, with the Nivea um, Aftershave Balm. So I'm just going to see how I like it with the balm. So um, the way I apply this, it's supposed to be a full coverage. Um, so I use a brush. I don't use the sponge because I like more of like a full coverage. And I just use any foundation brush. Uh, today I'll probably just use this e.l.f. Um, it's just like a, I don't know, like a foundation brush. And um, I'm in, I got the lightest shade and I think it may be a tad bit too dark for me still. But I mean, it's not a big deal. So... I'm just going to apply that on my face, just put it on the back of my hand and I'm just going to kind of um, tap it um, first and then I'll rub it in. Alright, so next I'm going to do my eyebrows and I was kind of intending for this video to be more of like a talk through, just kind of chill, talk about my life, but it's not really working out. <laughs> I'm not used to doing these types of videos, but um, right now I'm using the L'Oreal, I'm trying it for the very first time, the Brow Stylist Definer in the color Blonde. And I'm just trying to find a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz because I was tired of spending $20 every three to four weeks and it was just kind of stupid and unnecessary. This is nice. It's very comparable to the Anastasia. Like my first reaction's very, very nice. I need a mirror. Very comparable I'd say if you're looking for a cheaper alternative all right so I'm really liking that keep you updated so that is the L'Oreal brow stylish stylist definer in blonde it's just the eyebrow pencil I'm just gonna set that with some eyebrow gel which I think I want to try the uh, which I put it on my brows today when I went to Ulta. And it was so, like, I really loved it. It's the the Benefit um, Gimme Brow. It looked really good. So I think I'm going to buy that. So next, I'm going to do um, 
I'm going to start with the eyes, actually. So, first, I'm just going to apply some concealer as... It's like already 12 minutes. Now, I'm going to apply some concealer to my eyelids. This is just my fave. Uh, Maybelline. Better skin. I love this stuff. I'm just going to apply some of that on the lid. Did they change the packaging? I feel like they did. Um, just to hide all my veininess on my lids. This color is the lightest shade. So it looks a little funky. So I'm just going to basically um, tell you how I... Um, do my liquid liner or kind of like an easy tutorial on um, how to get a good winged eyeliner and basically you just take some scotch tape nothing special and you just take about this much like an inch and you kind of line it up to the edge of your brow or um, I mean not everyone has the same brows but that's kind of where I line it up um, kind of just tuck it right under your lash line Just right at the base, kind of like lining up to your, oh. Kind of like this. So like to your nose. So lining up with your nose. Just so you can get that good kind of, a lot of people do it straight up and down and it just doesn't look good personal. Personally, it doesn't look good to me. But um, this is kind of the easiest way I found um, kind of teaching myself how to do it is to have that surface guiding the line of your liner. So uh, there's plenty of liquid liners out there. I'm just going to use the Maybelline Line Stiletto. I did have the Kat Von D, uh, but I ran out and I really like this and it's a cheaper alternative. So I decided to pick it up. And um, I just got the blackest black. That's my favorite. The first thing I do is I just um, create the line first along the tape. That's how I do it. So I create the line just along the tape. And don't freak out. The tape is going to save your life. I'm telling you. So... This is difficult, but I'm just going to create the line however long you want it. I'm going for the more natural. So kind of like that. And then um, I personally don't um, put my liner all the way into my inner corner just because I have small eyes, so I, see, I kind of feel like it makes my eyes look smaller so I just kind of go a third of the way and I just very carefully create a thin line along my lash line so I stop about a third of the way and now I'm going to connect those two lines and by that I'm just going to um, kind of fill in the sparse lines some people leave it like that I kinda like it thicker so I'm just gonna kind of create a triangle going downwards from the tip of this wing all the way down So now I'm going to take off the tape and you'll see kind of what the liner is going to look like. Hopefully good. So that's what it kind of looks like. I did a more natural wing, just personal preference. Sometimes I usually, um, or sometimes I make it a little longer, um, but kind of fill in the more natural. And now I just kind of touch up where I want it. Um, a little darker but yeah that's how I do my winged eyeliner and I'm gonna do my other eye I don't think it's necessary to show you both eyes and I will come back and show you the rest of my face 
Alright, so I finished up my eyeliner and now I'm going to do a concealer. And I'm just going to um, use my Maybelline. And I'm going to do my triangle. I'm going for the full coverage, I guess. There's a lot of concealer. But, you know, go big or go home. Am I right? Just put it on the points where I want it to be highlighted. And I'm just going to take my damp blender and I'm just going to blend that out. Um, now I'm just going to um, set like right on the base of that with some Laura Mercier. This is matte, so I don't like to put this anywhere else. Cause I like to have a luminous face, so I literally just put this where I put the concealer. Now I'm going to do a little bit of cream contouring. I recently got the LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this one's in Toast. And the first time I used this, guys, I think I used way too much. It was pretty bad. Like, so I'm just going to try my best not to use that much this time. I'm going to do like, I don't think it's coming out. Do you like that? Do you like some line just like right there and a little bit down my nose. I just see Carly Bible doing it and I'm like, girl, it looks so good. How does it look good? Teach me your ways. But, yep, just gonna do that. Yeah, I think I played way too much last time. I did not know what I was doing. So, now I'm just going to take a stippling, small stippling brush. I can find it. Um, where is it? Oh, here it is. This one's from e.l.f. I'm just going to stipple that, blend it, yeah, this is way better. See that contour? Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I think that looks good, I don't really know, I feel like it's a little spotchy, but, I mean, what can he do? Like whatever's left and put it kind of on the jawline. That looks good. Now I'm going to take this, which is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, and I've had this forever. I just just never used it really, so I'm just gonna put that on my cheekbones. This stuff is really really pretty, and it's so pigmented. So pretty, guys. I'm going to take a tiny bit and just kind of put it on the dot of my nose. Just like that. And now I'm going to um, do a little bit of setting on my contour. I'm just going to take my NARS one. Alright, so now I'm going to set the rest of the face with the Hourglass Ambient and Dim Light. And this stuff is so good, guys. I love it. Just where I need to set it. And then... I'm going to take the Hourglass Ambient Luminous Bronzing, Bronze Light, um, the light one, and I'm just going to bronze up my face. This stuff is so pigmented, guys, you gotta, you got to watch out. I'm going to use a really light hand. And these are new powders as well, and I've been loving them. They're so expensive, but 
I definitely would recommend them. And then for blush, I've been loving this Tarte blush um, in Celebrated. I believe this was a limited edition blush. I think. I'm not sure. Because um, I don't see it at Sephora. But I'm just going to apply that just on my apples and a little bit above my apples. This is just such a natural. It just makes you glow within and I just love it. Put a little bit on my nose. And then I'm going to set my highlighter using the Mary Luminizer with the fan brush. I just really want to be super glowy, so. And that is it for the face. And now I'm just going to do some lips. I'll just line it with my subculture lip liner. Just sit on the edge of everything. And then for lips, I'm going to take, let's see what I want to use. Okay, I think I'm going to use this um, NYX Liquid Suede in, what is this, Tea and Cookies. I'm just going to apply that. This is new too. It's really nice. make it a little bit more nude, I'm going to take um, this ColourPop in, what is this, Skimpy. Just put that right there in the middle. Just like that. And then I'm going to use this new uh, NYX one that I got, and this NYX lip gloss. I've never seen these before and I was really interested. There's my cat. Um, I guess they're new. I'm, I think so. I've never seen them. They're the glam lip glosses. And they're super sparkly. I should have opened it before I did this video. But, um, hmm. This is pretty. I love glossy lips. So that's what it kind of looks like in the in the packaging. Super cool. I like the feeling of these. They're not sticky. They have glitter. Like it looks like they have glitter in them, but they're not. Like it's not chunky. So it's nice. All right, guys. So this is the look that I kind of came up with. Super natural. Well, I consider it natural. But yeah, I'm going to apply some mascara to my lashes because I feel like they're a little dull. Just do some mascara. I don't really feel like doing some bottom lash mascara, so we're not going to do any. So that's what it looks like. I really like this look. This would be perfect. I keep like shaking the camera. This would be perfect for like Valentine's Day. Just something super soft and kind of cute really like this look so that is it for this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to also subscribe to if you want to see more videos of me but thank you so much for watching and make sure to comment below a uh, video suggest suggestions I can't say that word I I struggle saying that word but anyways again thank you so much for watching I'm pretty sure I've said that like three times but yeah I'll see you next time Bye, guys.